a lot of people are dependent on these clinical trials. So people who haven't yet been diagnosed yet with multiple sclerosis are dependent on people participating in clinical trials today. If you honestly want to make a difference, you have to be involved in something like this. My name's Tony. I have progressive MS. I was first diagnosed in May 1990, and I finally was diagnosed with progressive MS back in 2019. My life completely changed. I'm Tarunya Arun. I'm a consultant neurologist at the University Hospitals at Coventry. So Sony was diagnosed with secondary progressive multiple sclerosis against a background of having relapsed intermittent MS. He went from being able to access treatments to at the point when Tony was diagnosed with secondary progression with no licensed treatments available for secondary progressive MS. He really wanted to do something to make a difference to his MS, but also you know, very much contribute to the wider community. My name is Kelly Westwood and I'm a research nurse for neurology. Okay, so next. If you just Tony was on the MS stat trial and there was an extension, but because his MS had progressed, he wasn't able to take the extension. So he was very upset about it, really. So when the octopus trial was coming around, I'd said to him, it's going to be here eventually. As soon as it does, we'll be in touch. And that's what we did. And it fell really well that Tony was our first patient. Perfect. I take two tablets a day. It takes me five minutes to take the tablets, fill out the chart. We come up here once every 10, 12 weeks. It's a big ask. I get up at four o'clock in the morning to make sure that I'm here for 8.30. But at the end of the day, this trial could be wonderful. So why wouldn't I do it? He wasn't very sure whether it made a significant difference to his own MS, but he was absolutely sure that he wanted to be part of Octopus when it came through. And that was something where he was very much part of, in fact, even co-authoring letters to the research and development department of this hospital to make sure it actually goes through. To sit in a room and be told that you've got progressive MS um, is a huge deal. So to see that the MS Society is, is prepared to put up this amount of money, of course you want to be involved. The fact that you know, you're hoping for some kind of stability from the trial yourself, but also to provide the data for people like yourselves, that it will help further down the line. Okay, Tony, so we're going to do the nine hole peg test now, if that's okay with you. Yeah, great. It's nice when the patients come in. You build up a really nice rapport, uh, so then when they come in, it's just nice. It's like you seem family, basically. You can't cheat and take two. I'm not a cheat. And there then as soon, soon as they're in, straight back out. And again, no cheating and taking two at the same time. Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. So without clinical trials, there'll be no progression in medications. They help to further newer treatments, uh, transfer treatments from the bench to the bedside in the quickest and safest possible way. I feel extremely grateful to the team here. I'd sing from the rooftops, basically. It's like a family because I don't think there are many so specialties where you actually look after people for their entire life and it takes a village. I hope that I can do justice to the trial. MS Society. Find out more about clinical trials. mssociety.org.uk slash trials.